Hey guys, it's Blaine back here from Buckeye Nation, bringing you another series today. Um, today is going to be the logo wipe. Very powerful TH9 attack. Um, what we're going to want to look here is basically you're going to want to find a base that has centralized air defenses. All four air defense right in the center compartment. Um, basically, it can be accessed a few ways. Obviously, every base is different. Um, with this base, if you use in, uh, four EQ spells, it's obviously going to open up these walls, which will give you access to all four ADs without any trouble. There's uh, a few different ways to go about this attack. Um, as you can see here, it consists of two golems, two pekkas, wizards, ten balloons, and some wall breakers to get through the first barrier. Um, in the CC, this can vary. You can either bring three golems total, or you can bring three pekkas total. Basically, it depends on what you're more comfortable with, um, what the weight of the base is, if it has expos, if it doesn't have expos. This base doesn't have expos, but it has max air defense. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is create your funnel. Every attack, the most important part is the funnel going to enter into the base, deploying your golems, um, using your whiz to create your funnel, wall break, call in your heroes, send in your wizards and your pekkas, and you are going to rage and heal through the beginning of this process. Most cases you're going to want to rage through the CC, depending on what's in it, and then drop your heal. The heal is basically most effective to keep your wizards alive while your tanks are out front. So we'll go ahead and we'll start this attack here, and we'll just... Uh, let it play out and we'll go through some details with it. So here he goes, he's gonna start his funnel. Like I said, this is the most important part to every attack. I'm gonna pause it quick. Um, this attack can go very wrong, just like any attack involving P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, when you bring P.E.K.K.A.s, they're meant to smash through a base, not around a base. I see a lot of people make this mistake where they don't create the proper funnel. Basically, in a sense, for those of you who don't understand what funneling means, with the funnel, it's basically destroying all of the buildings that are around the base, where you're going to enter at. So you call in your golems, then you drop your wizards in this space. So when you do wall break and you drop your P.E.K.K.A.s, your P.E.K.K.A.s aren't going to want to go to one of these buildings or one of these, because if it goes to one of those, your P.E.K.K.A. is just going to walk all the way around the base, which, and that's not going to work out for you. You'll end up failing your attack very quick. So we'll go ahead here and watch. D, this is D. Smith. Got a good funnel. Gets everything destroyed. Like I said, same with the heroes. When you deploy your heroes, you got to make sure that there isn't any buildings or collectors or anything that's going to drag them away from going to the center because if you don't get all of your troops beside your balloons to go to this core you're going to fail so he's going to drop a rage here take down these loons and this dragon melts right through it without a problem drop your heal here this will uh, help your wizards push forward to keep with the attack as you can see within the first 30 seconds two air defense are down he's going to get the air defense the sweeper and then two more and then here's the logo part of the attack basically logo wipe it's a go wipe with balloons what your goal is once these air defenses are down um you're going to use your balloons to get the ba the defenses that are on the outside of the base so as you can see we got these defenses here um which obviously your troops in the middle are going to have to break through walls to get to those so while you have your kill squad crushing the inside of the base once those air defenses are down what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop two balloons per defense. Um, all it takes is two balloons to kill any defense except for expos. Um, once both of those balloons each drop, it instantly destroys. As you'll see right here, he does drop a couple of the balloons a little early. Not a big deal. Um, we'll go ahead and start it back. Just two per As you can see, this attack is so powerful. He's, he still has both heroes. Um, three of his P.E.K.K.A.s are still alive. One of his golems didn't even break. A handful of wizards still. It's, it's just extremely powerful. Um, like I said, this base didn't have Expos. Expos aren't really a huge factor depending on where they're placed. But one thing you, that helps on a logo base is finding the Expos that are on ground. 
Um, here we go with Jacob's attack. Um, he is a 9.5, so he does have a little bit different troop comp here and actually uh, more available spells, but this is just the same concept. He's going to start with his funnel. Like I said, most important part of the attack. See, like, he does the variation with uh, three golems and two pekkas with his. You really only need between 10 and 12 balloons. In most cases, 12 is, is more more than enough. I, I would say the comfortable number is 10. Able to uh, rage here through uh, clan castle troops and heal. Keep those wizards alive. Oh, well, well, now this is when the air defense, they just completely get obliterated. Kill squad just destroys them. And as you can see, he gets down the expos in this attack. Also, expos, Teslas, um, dropping two loons per defense here. Once those air defenses are down, I mean, it's pretty much over. As, as you can get those air defense down and you properly deploy your loons, um, most people say you want to go in a clockwise, counterclockwise. Basically, as long as wherever you start deploying your loons, you just continue in that circle. Do not drop more than two per defense. It's a waste, um, and it causes the balloons to clump. See how his balloons are nice and spread out here at the end? Um, makes cleanup a lot easier. If you're putting three, four balloons per defense, they're going to clump up. You're not going to end up getting all the defenses. It's, it's a waste of balloons. This is another excellent attack here. Um, if anyone has any questions, anything, leave a comment. 